I never told you about my Rolling Loud experience. I was waiting for Yachty, and I so Lil Uzi Vert's supposed to be this like dynamic performer. Um, so I was like, I'm gonna watch half of his set before I leave to like get re- to get up close for Yachty. And the dude comes out there and he's nuts. But like the thing that's the middle screen, he's playing uh, clips from horror movie B movies, mm. like the most grotesque moments from horror movies, like blood, guts, nastiness. Right. Okay. The entire time. The entire. Not one song. The entire time. Right. Not time really timed out to anything? I, uh, no. And I had to, after the second song, I was like, you know what? I, I have to leave. I have to leave because this is stomach turning. That's why he did it, to get rid of people like you. Yeah. Lincoln said he felt a little nauseous. Yeah, well, he's a Neil. But he was up at the front. Yeah. Couldn't do anything about right. it. Um, I think I would have liked this. Um, had a friend with him who the first night Get, just got smushed so much that they pulled him over the rail, and then he was like, "Oh, th- m- my shoe, my shoe!" And then the security guard's like, "Fuck your shoe!" And he pulls him out, and then escorts him out of the out of the area. That's what I would have said. And so when I found him later, he he'd been walking around the entire show. That was at like five o'clock at night on uh, Saturday. He walked around the entire festival with one shoe and one sock. I mean, fuck your shoe, man. <laughs> yes. So I, 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 I'm down with that too. I got to the front. I might go next year. Row of uh, Lil Yachty. What? Because I was there like 45 minutes in advance, you and like front row? people. Well, I got the front row of the normal people, and then there's a VIP section. So I was as close as I could be without being very still important. Still being normal. Yeah. And I'm getting to know. I was like, I started talking to the people around me, and I'm like. Hey, I just want to talk to you because I think we might be smushed up against each other in a little bit, and I just want to be friends first. And there were a couple other people who were there, like alone, and they were just there to see Yachty. And some people didn't were just there because it was close. And but I'm, you know, it was it was fun to like talk about the music, and uh, people think they knew who I was, but then they didn't, and it was just like I, you know, I think I, I, don't worry about it. We're just here to have fun. And then this guy showed up right as the show started, with a freaking VHS camera. Oh. And that's what shot this video. He, he was like, he recognized me, and he was like filming the Lil Yachty show. Yes, he did have a full band. Yes, he did play Let's Start Here. He like played the first three songs of that album, which is like super psychedelic, like him channeling Pink Floyd. People didn't know what to do with it. That's a new one? Uh, that's a new one. And so okay. he made a bold choice of like opening his show with that. And it was like, I was, I was loving it. And yeah, this guy with a VHS camcorder, like beast on his shoulder, was filming me. So. Welcome to MTV News. I'm here at the Little Yachty Show at Rolling Loud 2013. It's pretty pandemonium here. I don't really fit in, do I? That's the part I saw. I didn't see the MTV news part. See, there's Yachty. I've met Yachty before. He was at the at the game at the Game Awards. Game Awards. I'd like to meet him again. I want him to come on our show or just be my friend. So I'm assuming that you uh, weren't officially there with MTV News. That was a joke. Yeah, and it wasn't 2013 either. <laughs> 